Well, you don't need to go way up north or to Africa to the jungle to find yeah. the plants you need to keep you healthy. Indoor plants are good for you, right, Frank? Yeah, you know, now that all we're... All of a sudden done. All of a sudden, it's so dark out right yeah. now, too. And that's the other part, too, is that we're really not seeing much green in our lives. And so many studies, numerous studies, have shown the benefits of plants. Uh, even just looking out a window, they, f they found that students will do better if there's a green space. And green space, them. absolutely. Yeah. The last so, thing you want to be doing is surrounded by concrete. So what are some of the best plants to have indoors? Best this plants, time? let's just talk about those really quickly. So one of the easiest plants and probably one of the best for kids is a spider plant. Yeah, It's a classic around. 1970s lover. <laughs> you know, you used to see that in macrame, but not today. This one here is making a comeback. I may still have the macrame and the plant. Yeah, well, yeah, that's how long they last. You can see the little babies that are there. Yeah. Those are easily, you can put those in water. They'll actually uh, get a little bit more a root system or even put them in soil and presto oh. they're going to do great but they're good for air purification pretty, they're pretty bulletproof aren't they they're very much so and they can do good in low light or even a little bit of a brighter room you know the rubber plant too with its large leaf that's here that large leaf of course is going to put more oxygen into your house mm -hmm. during the daylight hours uh, that's a fantastic one as well for are they poisonous though uh, the rubber, plant. rubber plants to some pets, yes. To some pants, so, uh, uh, some pets, right? Yeah, so you have to be very aware of the plants that you have in your home. Mm -hmm. If you do have a pet that decides that it likes to gnaw on plants. Mm -hmm. So many plants actually do have some, um, some characteristics of being poisonous because yep. that's the way they protect themselves against insects. Um, one that isn't, ferns, ferns. That's most beautiful yeah, too, that one. Beautiful, there's so many different ferns that are available. Pothos. Another crazy grower. My sister has one of those, and it's just taken over the back room. Yeah, this one here is steak, so you can see that we put it on a steak just so that would be more of an upright, big leaf, fantastic, and probably one of the best plants that I love because if you are you a plant killer, I might be. My garden's not all right inside. I don't do so well. Okay. Most people kill. I've got plants. one jade that I've kept alive in the bathroom, or not a jade, a uh, aloe that I've kept alive in the bathroom that's somehow. Good. That's good. So by Z, fluke. if you're a plant killer, if mm -hmm. you want one that's really easy to take care of, that one right there, which is called the Zamifolia, also known as the ZZ plant. Number one reason why people kill it's plants. Easy. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, the one, number one <laughs> that reason. That was for Dina. Uh, yeah. The, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the number one reason why people kill plants indoors at this time of the year is too much water. Oh, really? Okay. Because our daylight you let hours. Them go dormant a little bit. Yeah, our daylight hours. Are so short they don't mm -hmm. need as much water they don't need fertilizer right now so cut that back and then uh, the plant that was used on uh, the space station is the peace lily that's right there oh really uh, that one there is really great for air purification people have been asking me having plants in your room at night is that bad because that's what I was gonna ask you yeah about. yeah carbon dioxide is gonna kill you yeah because at night plants do release a little bit of carbon dioxide no, plants are good. Uh, they're going to be beneficial for you. And as well, we were talking about flu season. They actually release humidity in your room, which, which will actually excellent. help you for breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have to find a balance. You don't want it too humid, though, right? I mean, if you have, can you have too many plants in the house? Uh, no, you can't have too many plants in the house. You can have too less of humidity. So a lot of the times during yeah. the winter with your heat coming on, to benefit a plant, add a humidifier to a room that will benefit you in the plant itself because we need humidity at about 30% for plants to do okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to bring all these home with me. Thank you very much. Okay. You can. I got a good More info, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. <laughs> Let's head to Stella now. No illusions going on there. You're real, Stella.